Hi, I'm Andrew and I'm here today to show you how to perform a cell viability assay for the purposes of determining an IC50. Your concentration range should encompass the data points over which your viability drops from 100% to 0%. You will need to grow your cells, trypsinize and collect them, and dilute them to the appropriate concentration in media. This concentration will be different for each new cell line. In the experiment with HeLa cells, we dilute to 100,000 cells per mil. Add 100 microliters of this solution to three wells of a 96 well plate for each treatment concentration in your range. Remember to include zero wells, which will not contain any treatment. Leave these cells to adhere in an incubator for a minimum of six hours. Prepare your treatments by making up the most concentrated sample and serially diluting this sample. UV sterilization and sonication may be required. Remove media and add each treatment to the appropriate well. Leave the plate in an incubator for 24 hours. Remove the treatment from each well and add a solution containing 10% Alamar Blue and 90% media. Leave the plate in an incubator for three hours to six hours. You should observe a color change from blue to pink. Measure the absorbance at 570 nanometers and 600 nanometers on the plate reader, and you'll need to repeat this entire experiment at least three times. Subtract each 570 nanometer result from the 600 nanometer result, and now compare each treatment data point to your zero concentration point to determine percent viability. Plot the log of the concentration versus the percentage viability and fit to a sigmoidal curve. The concentration at the point of inflection is your IC50. You can get more information on our website. The Open Data Fit team thanks you for watching and we hope you found this video useful.